the first stage, the prototype Annoyatron. So as usual, patrons will have access to the rematch strings as a special perk for those who support the channel. Basically, it allows you to auto-load all of my teams, including the breeds and the abilities, allowing you to shave off precious minutes from running the scenario. So I'm going to be starting off with Blizzard. And then Ice Tomb. Then I'm going to switch to the second pet. I'm going to use Flock because I want him to get maximum damage from the Ice Tome that's about to drop on his head. Next I'm going to wait until that other shield comes off, so I may as well just use Flock again just to reset the stacks of the Shattered Defences. And so even if my second pet dies, you're still going to have a third pet that can finish him off. I'm actually going to hit Geyser here. he tends to throw his shield on, I think in this next turn. Yeah, there he goes. So the shattered defenses will be wasted, but... Look what's about to proc when it drops off. Alright, free hit because he's stunned. So even though it's not doing too much damage, that's okay. He only has a little bit left before he's done. I might just use my rain dance here. Good timing for the bubble. Essentially just waiting for it to drop off. Now it has. And so once again, even though I'm dead, the geyser is about to proc anyway, so he can really hit anything. Alright, so downstairs there are going to be three elementals. Starting th with this one. Hopefully, I have the team auto loaded, auto saved. Let me double check. Living Sludge. I do not. will do damage to the whole team. So basically 
two pits. And ideally you want to leave all three pets standing at the end of the battle because quite often you will be reusing the same team for the next battle, particularly if they come in sets of three like these ones. So if you play your teams and you find one or a few of the pets actually die, thankfully there are several pets that have very similar abilities, so if, if you do use rematch, um, which you probably do if you're, you're one of my patrons, then you'll know that you can just hit the find familiar and Hopefully there will be a very similar pet that you can just slot in instead. I might actually switch in one of my other pets now. I'll start by building a turret. using railgun. Close one. Might as well build another turret. So at this stage I might just switch out, just so that I have him available for the next battle. There we go. All three pets alive. That's what I want to see. Alright, so the third one is in this back corner. What's this one? Napalm. Good, I have it auto-loaded. So I'll start by squeeze. Rain dance. 
and tentacle slap. Might as well do that again. Long. So undead and critter. Might just switch that now. I'll use the lightning shield. If you haven't noticed, I'm a big fan of using shield this expansion. I'll see if I can get a thunderbolt off. Uh, let's see. Does he have? Disease bite, rubber, creeping ooze. Okay. Well, this time I didn't technically need to leave this team alive because that was the last one for the trio. Now we have to open the door by unlocking this door console. So I'm going to start with Rip. Blood in the water. Surge. Surge. Oh, come on. Piddly bit of health left. Well, the uh, bleed should actually take that out, so I'm just going to rain dance. Tentacle slap. Tentacle slap. Tentacle slap. I'm actually going to whirlpool because. The, well, hopefully this pet should be dead. The elemental, I mean. Actually, no. <laughs> Generally, these crocolisks are pretty effective against these three. Alrighty 
then bypass the minefield so first time I came in here we actually didn't get any abilities but as you can see there's a little a couple of buttons that you can play with now but even so it doesn't really look like you take any damage and then the other one is just like a protective shield which still doesn't seem to do much And then devour. If you can kill it off while devour is still going, then you will regain some health, which is always a bonus. Like so. Look at that. Full health again. Alright, so pretty much the same rotation. finish off with devour again sting you'll have to let me know whether you have three critters as well on your team. Alright, so bite again. And devour. Poison should finish him off. Yeah, there we go. Very nice, very nice. Alright. So I actually had a different team set up for this. So let's start with Vicious Streak. Stampede. So Undead Mechanical. Well this one's definitely a pushover compared to the one coming up and if you haven't watched my preview video you'll see why in a minute. Um, I'll just play this one. I won't re need to reuse this team so... May as well burrow here. He's going to die anyway. Saves you from taking extra damage as well. So I might just play this one until my snake is dead. Since he's doing well even though he's not that strong against the mechanical but because he has his little power um, gun saves this guy from taking a lot of the damage all right so frost shock Snowball. One 
more. And now all we have to do is outlive his last move, so... That should do it. Alright. So as I was saying, this is the guy that is definitely more challenging. The large rodent of unusual size. Alright. So this one essentially you have to leave either your first or second pet. Um, you have to swap him out before he actually dies because you need to leave one pet standing at the end. I am going to start with Stampede. Because essentially when he dies he has this killer move that kills your active pet as well. That's why you need one other pet in your team. left up otherwise you're going to fail and have to do it again so generally I do that with my second pet I use the feign death move which I find is pretty effective So what I might do is flurry. Flurry again. One more time. So now I'm going to feign death. He's taken a big chunk of health now basically avoids that move and now what you want to do is hit chew then you stampede so that when he gets shattered defenses at the end of this move he should be taking a nice chunk of health from the chew when it procs So that's all you need to do. When he comes back up and lives through his last move, he will kill off your pet instantly. We'll see in a sec. Which is why you need, as I said, one of your other pets done. So. So as you can see, there's three here and the last guy over there, the last mechanical. So let's start with this one. So I'm going to need to use Volcano. <laughs> Flame Jet. Flamethrower. Three mechanicals, not too bad.
shame. Here's his dodge on. That was wasted. May as well put the lightning shit on because he's going to pop back up, being a mechanical. Switch him out there. Cheese. Lucky last. Might just save that one. God, woof. Baby burn. <laughs> Little shit always faints right at the end. All right. Well, I won't need to replay these, so I might as well just put a dot on him just to help out a little. And then I'll switch out now. Throw a glowing toxin on him. And acidic goo. move. Waiting for this to come back up. So 
That's quite a bit of health. May as well throw that back on. Let's switch to this one. So I haven't had as much variation in the backline pits as I had last time. and then I'll use the drained blood which I might just use it here then I'll use lift off So now we'll have another encounter with the shadowy figure. Back away from the robot, or I shall blow this entire facility to ruins. We have been watching you, hero. <laughs> you haven't the faintest idea what you are up against. We have a plan. One so elaborate that a simplistic plebeian like you could never hope to comprehend it. I have just deactivated all safety protocols from this unit and took something special for us to keep. What's more? I have observed your pathetic strategy, and I've already predicted your next four moves! You cannot hope to outsmart someone oh. of my advanced capabilities. I would wish you luck, but my words would be wasted. <laughs> Super teleport, activate! <sighs> Alright, here we go. 